Hey, on this episode, I'm gonna make some sweet Damascus for Green Beetle. If you found this video from watching Green Beetle's video, thank you so much. I really hope you enjoy this introduction to my channel and the videos that I make every single day. If you're a subscriber, thank you for being here. Go check out Green Beetle's channel in the description below. Enjoy it, because we're gonna make some fun Damascus. Have a great one. Okay, so I've got my 15 and 20, and I've got my 1080 equivalent. The first thing I like to do is take a marker of some variety, and on one of my steels, just go ahead and mark down it a couple of places, so I can really visibly keep track of which one is which. So for some reason, when I was taught how to make Damascus, I was told to always put your carbon steel on the outside. So I'm gonna put the 1080, which has, it has 80 points of carbon on the outside, and then simply alternate my layers between that and the 15 and, shoot, I've lost it again. Okay, we've got it. Alternate the layers. I'm just gonna run some welds up two sides. That'll keep it all together while we forge weld it. So now I'm gonna take another piece of steel and stick it on there and weld it to it and this will be my handle. Time to put it in the forge. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do isn't gonna weld it straight away. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump to the press real quick, or the power hammer, and I'm gonna go to the power hammer. And I'm just gonna give it one light blow to just close it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna take some borax and pour it into the, into the seams of the weld, and that's gonna help dissolve the scale. So that next heat, when we go and actually weld it, the scale gets flushed out, and we have a clean welding surface. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the steel to become invisible in the fire. I'm looking for the steel to start having a bubbly appearance on it. And I'm looking for almost a white temperature. That's when we know it's ready to weld. So with the first heat that I'm power hammering, I want to be super gentle to just get the welds set. Once they're set, I'm going to take one more heat, and then I'm going to really become more aggressive with the power hammer and start forging it down. And then if it all looks like it's nice and tight, I'll start then manipulating the pattern a little bit and cupping it over and forging some W's. So right now you can really clearly see the different patterns, not so much because it's delaminating, but just because the carbon steel and the nickel steel, the 15N20, they both oxidize in different ways. And this is a great way to see how you're developing it. What, I've got it, what I'm gonna do right now is I've got it in the vise, 
I'm gonna take a big grinder and I'm gonna polish off the top surfaces and then we're gonna hack it up into a bunch of pieces and stack it up. going to make each layer just kind of bend and curl around. So now what I've got is I've got this block and I'm going to cut it off on the cut off saw right about here, grind out the inside and then heat it back up and weld it back together and that'll hopefully do this weird funky pattern that I can then do something interesting with. It's pretty fun playing around and experimenting with this. piece forged out and before I send it to him I do want to grind it up and etch it so that he can have a look at the pattern and make sure that whatever he makes from it is going to best show off the pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and I usually do all my grinding from 80 grip and up. This is a really powerful belt grinder. It's got a three horse motor and a variable frequency drive. So I've got an 80 grip belt on here. It's, it's already pretty pretty worn but that's all right. It's going through scale first. 80 grip belt I'm going to grind it up and I'll probably take it to 120 on both sides and then I'll give it an edge. I'm going to etch it in ferric chloride and it's probably going to be like a 1 to 3 dilution. Nice little slow etch and purely for the reason of uh, Green Beetle to be able to identify the pattern that's there and work with it as, we do as he does it. Um, I really do want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you've just found this channel, I'll let you know a little bit about what it is that I do here. I make a video every single day, and one day a week, I do a live show, and the live show generally are, lasts between an hour and two hours, and you can ask me questions and come hang out and have some fun and watch me make something here in the workshop, and then every other day of the week, I make a blacksmithing vlog which is always a huge amount of fun. I show you guys what I'm up to, I make all sorts of fun projects. Basically we just have a whole lot of fun playing with hot metal, fire, sparks, 
mixed up like that. It's a huge amount of fun and I'd love it if you would subscribe below if you enjoyed this video and you want to see some more blacksmithing goodness because that's what I aim to do. That's what we aim to do here at the channel. I'm going to show you a clip of this Damascus as it stands right now and I'm going to go ahead and box this bad boy up. Send it over to Green Beetle, and he Green Beetle and he'll make something awesome out of it. By the time you watch this video, he'll have already made something awesome out of it. So you can go ahead and watch that by clicking the link in the description below. Again, thank you so much. Go check out the video where he makes something cool from the rest of it. I, I can only speak, I, I don't know what he's going to make from it. I'm sure it's going to be cool, so you know, check it out, but I, I don't know, I, I'm only this far. He's going to take it over from here, hopefully make something awesome. It's been a pleasure, guys. I'll see you tomorrow on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.